Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in today. This is Mike Makers. So the project today is to create a voltmeter. Uh, usually it's something like this. This one is a multimeter actually. You can measure different things with it, like the voltage, amperes. You can also measure uh, resistors and also test also diode. And the point today is to create with an Arduino board. Uh, this one, an Arduino Uno, is to create um, a voltmeter. And when you measure it, to show it on an LCD screen. So uh, there is a battery. So I, I charge this battery. And uh, now I don't know if you can see, but it shows 3.87 uh, volts. So it means it's quite a, it's quite sharp. So let's get started when we saw all of this. So there is a program. So you can find the program in the description and download it if you want to. Um, the purpose today is to, uh, of course, um, create this bottom metal. But the most important, we, we need to see the, the analog part. So you can see, I'll show you on the schematic uh, in, in a minute. But we do need to understand how to manage the LCD screen. So the first thing you need to do, you need to download the library liquidcrystal.h because we're gonna need to use this. So to do this, you, you go to sketch, include library and uh, Add zip library. So you do this. You go you, you go to internet. You type you type also liquid crystal library. Download it, and usually it's a zip file. And you go to look for where you put it, and it just it just download it for you. And after that, you can you can include uh, this line that will go for for the LCD screen. So it, it makes things easier. So on on the, on the LCD screen, uh, you you have different pins. So uh, as you can see on the, on the schematic. And uh, it goes from uh, one to one to sixteen if I if I, I get good memory, and uh, the data goes from uh, from twelve from twelve okay sorry from D four to D seven, and uh, this pin gonna be connected on on the two, three, four, and five on the digital pin for for the Arduino. And you got an RS, RS, sorry, and enable for for the for the LCD screen. So now let's go let's go back to the to the analog pin. So here it is. So we got A0 here. So we got uh, we got a declaration here, so A0, and the sensor value. So uh, we here we initialize it at zero, and the real voltage value we initialize it at at zero also. And there we go, we go to the setup, so that's the first thing that's going to be executed, it's, and it's executed only once. Now we had here serial begin, so we, we use this because I need to show some something on the screen for, for, for the test. And here we go, LCD, LCD begin, so we, we just uh, set up the LCD, the LCD screen, the number of, of colon and uh, number of, of line. So it's going to be 16 and 2 since we don't have a, a big screen here. And after that, when it's done, we go here as the screen vault metal, and we wait two seconds and we click and we clear them, we erase the, the screen. And after that, we go to the main loop. So there's the main loop. So we got uh, the LCD set cursor to zero. So we go at, at the line zero and the row zero, and we write down voltage. After that, we change, we change line, we go to the second line with this, set cursor 0, 1, and we measure the, the value of uh, that comes from A0, sensor value from A0 here, and uh, analog value going to be here, serial with analog value. And here, what it's going to do is show, it show us the value of the, the analog. So that's done. Since uh, the analog value goes from 0 to 1024, so that's not the real value. So meaning, since uh, since the analog analog input of the um, Arduino can measure value between uh, 0 and 5 degree and 5 5 volt, I'm sorry. So 0 is gonna be all 5, and 5 volt gonna be 1024. So uh, the minimum the minimum uh, Minimum for like one bit, we got one, two, three, one, twenty-four, one, 
you, you need to do uh, 1024 uh, I'm sorry 5 div divided by 1024 and I think it's uh, 0. It's, I think it's uh, 3.8 milliampere. So it's gonna be 5 divided by 1024. There it is. So it's gonna be uh, 4.8 milliampere. I'm sorry. So uh, the, this value that you're gonna have, let's say, let's say it's 1024, maybe. It's here, and we multiply it by the the smallest number, and we it will give us the real voltage that we want. So now we go, we go back serial print, the real value is, it shows us the real value. This is what, this is what it does. We go to SCD, and now when we got the value, we, got, we go to SCD print, write down the value, and after that, so that was for the test, I'm sorry. So there we go, we go back to the SCD screen, we type SCD, the print, real voltage, and we move the cursor a bit uh, further on the on the right, and we are, we are done for it. And here I put a delay of two thousand seconds. So every two every two seconds, we got the loop, and we check the, the, the value of the we check the value of, of the of the, of, the, of the input for our battery. You can see the schematic here. So we got the Arduino board, and we got the the LCD screen. And the main the main thing is the battery. You can see the battery here where it comes. It goes to A0 on A0 on on the Arduino Uno. So this is an, an input. So you got five uh, analog input uh, that allowed you to measure different value between zero and five volts compared to the digital input. Digital input that goes from zero to thirty. So it's usually zero and one. And it's like uh, how I see analog, in, analog input. It's like um, shade of gray. You go from white, from white. After you move to gray, after that you move to to black. So you get all the shades. So it's not like a zero or one. So this is what it, what it is. And it goes from zero to one thousand twenty-four. So the analog input go battery goes to A zero. And as you can see on the screen, and after that it's treated. Is treated in microcontroller on the Arduino board, so we just made the program, and after that it goes to is it, sent to, to the SD screen, so as I show you there. Shaolin shadow boxes. No will change thoughts. Only... So that was the program for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, please give it a like, leave, leave some comments if you have any questions or if you, if you just appreciated the video and uh, see you next week for another video. Thank you very much.